I am a female. You are a man. I need to be a You're a man. I think my wife. My daughter goes into those bathrooms and no man needs to be in there. You understand me? I'm a man. Bible said they transformed themselves. Satan have transformed himself themselves. into an angel of light. And so man have transformed himself to a woman. They said they're going to try to make a law where you got to have transgender bathrooms, including yeah. in the churches. Yeah. You come on and bring it here, Congress boy. <laughs> You Congress boys. That's right. First church of the Lord Jesus Christ, you come here with that law. Amen. I take the Bible and beat you unmerciful. There's an ongoing debate about transgender men using female bathrooms. This debate revolves around whether transgender men, who are biological females, should be allowed to use men's bathrooms, or if they should continue using female bathrooms. Or whether transgender women, who are biological male, should be allowed to use female bathrooms. Proponents of allowing biological male to use female bathrooms argue that it aligns with their gender identity, they argue that it helps prevent discrimination, and reduces the risk of harassment or violence that they may face in bathrooms that do not match their gender identity. They argue that forcing transgender women, who are biological male, to use male bathrooms can be emotionally distressing and may lead to situations where they do not feel safe. Opponents of this view often express concerns about privacy and discomfort for cisgender individuals, those whose gender identity matches their sex assigned at birth. They worry about potential abuse of bathroom policies or safety risks. Some argue for the importance of maintaining traditional gender norms in public facilities. This debate has led to various policies and laws being enacted in different regions. Some areas have passed laws explicitly allowing transgender individuals to use the bathroom that aligns with their gender identity while others have implemented laws requiring individuals to use the bathroom that corresponds to their sex assigned at birth. The views on whether transgender individuals should be allowed to use bathrooms in line with their gender identity, rather than their sex assigned at birth, vary widely. Let's explore the perspectives of those who support this idea and those who oppose it. Supporters of allowing transgender individuals to use bathrooms matching what they identify as, believe that allowing transgender individuals to use the bathroom corresponding to their gender identity is a matter of basic respect. They argue that this recognition is essential for their mental and emotional well-being. Advocates assert that enforcing bathroom restrictions based on birth sex can expose transgender individuals to discrimination, harassment, and violence when using facilities that do not align with what they identify as. They argue that inclusive policies can enhance safety. Supporters often cite anti-discrimination laws and human rights principles as reasons to allow transgender individuals to use the bathroom of their choice. They argue that denying this right is a violation of their civil liberties. Opponents of these views often express concerns about the privacy and comfort of cisgender individuals. They argue that allowing transgender individuals into bathrooms that do not match their sex assigned at birth can make others uncomfortable and compromise their sense of privacy. Some opponents express safety concerns. They express fears about potential violation of inclusive bathroom policies, such as individuals falsely claiming to be transgender to gain access to spaces where they might cause harm. Critics argue that maintaining traditional gender norms in bathroom facilities is important for societal stability. They view bathrooms as spaces where gender distinctions should be maintained. The debate surrounding bathroom access for transgender individuals remains a highly polarizing and evolving issue. Some regions and countries have taken steps to address these concerns through legislation or policy changes, while others continue to grapple with finding a balanced approach. Several key developments and considerations have emerged within this debate. In some places, legal protections have been enacted to ensure transgender individuals use bathrooms matching the gender they choose to identify as. These legal changes reflect the viewpoint that discrimination based on gender identity is a violation of civil rights. However, in other areas, there have been efforts to restrict such protections, often under the banner of privacy and safety concerns. The views of the general public on this issue vary. Opinion polls show differing levels of support for transgender bathroom access rights, often influenced by factors such as political, religious, and generational divides. Advocacy groups and organizations have been working to educate the public about the experiences of transgender individuals and the reasons behind their desire for bathroom access based on gender identity. This educational effort aims to reduce misunderstandings and fears. 
Some cities and institutions have implemented gender-neutral or all-gender restroom options as a compromise solution to address concerns from both sides of the debate. These facilities provide privacy and inclusivity. The debate has resulted in legal battles at various levels of the judicial system, with court decisions shaping the direction of policy. These cases often revolve around issues of discrimination, equal protection, and individual rights. In this video, a man who identifies as a woman was seen entering a female bathroom at McDonald's and staying in there for about five minutes. He was confronted by a man who was recording the video, then this happens. Hey. I care. I'm transgender. You're a man, dude. I'm a trans woman. You're not a trans woman. You're born a man. I do. Because what if my daughter was in there and you walk in there? It don't matter. It matters to me. I am a female. You are a man. I need to a female. You're a man. My daughter goes into those bathrooms and no man needs to be in there. You understand me? I'm a man. You are a man. You are created as a man. You are a man. Start acting like a man. Act like a man. Act like a man. You're a man. Act like one. But for, I was You're, said, boy, I have to my what, what, to what to happened? Why? My to be Why are you, you acting this way? You be an I'm a man, so are you. No, I'm not. Then what are you? I was born intersex, dude. In case you don't know what that is. I was born with both. Sir, you're going to have so a problem, problem if you keep going into women's bathrooms. Somebody's going to do something to you. I've been I'm just years. telling you the truth. I've been doing this for years. You want to do something? Fuck outside. Yeah, I just did something. I told you the truth. Fuck outside, bitch. Do something. You go outside. You per you're a pervert. Go away. Yeah, like you're a bear. Go away. I am a man of God. I'm a woman. I turn my other cheek, but I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth, sir. You need to go. You got a man chest. You got man legs. You got a man face. You got man arms. You got man everything. So what? You don't belong in the women's bathroom. Yeah, because the world allows it. Men ain't standing up. That's why. Yeah, the world is dumb and they're falling into the sins of the world. They're being given up. Like you. No, you you have all the right to be here. Yeah, I do have a problem. But guess what? God will take care of you in the end. Have a nice day, sir. Bible said they transform themselves. Satan have transformed himself into an angel of light. And so man have transformed himself to a woman. They said they're going to try to make a law where you got to have transgender bathrooms, including yeah. in the churches. Yeah. You come on and bring it here, Congress boy. <laughs> You Congress boys. That's right. Because church of the Lord Jesus Christ, you come here with that law. Amen. I take the Bible and beat you unmerciful. Yeah. That's right. I'm not playing either. If you think I'm bluffing, this is one preacher that don't mind challenging all Congress. All Congress. Go ahead, man. For those who might not understand who a transgender is, a transgender person is someone whose gender identity differs from their biological identity at birth. For example, a person born male may choose to identify as a woman. Gender identity is a deeply held sense of being male, female, a blend of both, or neither. It's how individuals perceive their own self to be. Transgender individuals may take steps to align their physical appearance, name, and pronouns with with what gender they choose to identify as, which can include hormone therapy or gender-affirming surgeries. Views on transgender individuals within the Christian church can vary widely. Some churches believe that transgender identity is not in accordance with biblical teachings, while others are more accepting and supportive. Not all churches hold the same views, and there's a range of beliefs within the religious community. Those who disagree with accepting transgender individuals often refer to specific Bible verses to support their firm stands on the issue. One common verse is Genesis 1 and verse 27, which states, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. This verse emphasizes the binary nature of gender as created by God, and therefore, transgender identities is conflicting with God's creation order. Another verse is Deuteronomy 22, and verse 5, which reads, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. 
This verse is clearly against individuals transitioning or expressing a gender identity different from their assigned sex at birth. Despite God being clear in His words, many denominations and individuals are supportive of transgender rights and inclusivity. They often emphasize values like love, compassion, and acceptance, focusing on the teachings of Jesus about love and non-judgment. As for the rights of transgender individuals, many advocates and organizations, including those with strong religious beliefs, argue for equal rights and protections. These rights include legal recognition. They believe transgender individuals should have the right to change their gender markers on identification documents such as driver's licenses and birth certificates, allowing them to live in accordance with their gender identity. They believe transgender people should be protected from discrimination in employment, housing, and public accommodations based on their gender identity. They argue for access to gender-affirming health care, including hormone therapy and gender confirmation surgeries, and say it is a critical aspect of ensuring transgender rights. They say schools and workplaces should implement policies to prevent bullying and harassment based on gender identity, promoting social acceptance and support for transgender individuals to reduce stigma and prejudice in society. They want to ensure access to mental health support and counseling services to address the unique challenges and mental health disparities experienced by many transgender individuals. The conversation on transgender within many church have been complex and contentious, as many churches choose to accept and conform to societal changes. Though few still hold deep to the scriptures and the undiluted word of God, society has been fast moving towards LGBTQ rights and inclusivity. In recent years, there has been a growing movement within some churches to foster acceptance and understanding of transgender individuals. Some churches and religious organizations have taken steps to be more inclusive and supportive. They emphasize values of love, compassion, and empathy, seeking to reconcile their faith with the lived experiences of transgender individuals. This shift in perspective has led to inclusivity and an affirming approach to transgender individuals. Many so-called Christian advocates for transgender rights, argue that faith and support for transgender individuals are not mutually exclusive. They highlight biblical principles of love, kindness, and acceptance, emphasizing the importance of treating all individuals with dignity and respect. Some religious communities have started engaging in dialogue and education to understand the experiences of transgender individuals. This involves discussions on the theological and ethical aspects of gender identity, seeking to reconcile these with their interpretation of the scriptures. In many countries, there have been legal advancements in recognizing and protecting transgender individuals. This includes anti-discrimination laws, access to health care, and policies to support transgender youth in educational settings. They argue that while there are still disagreements within the Christian church and across society regarding transgender issues, the ongoing dialogue and advocacy for transgender rights represent a step towards greater inclusivity and understanding. Many churches have shy away from the true interpretation of scripture, some mainly because they have come under pressure to accept LGBTQ individuals. Despite this, the Word of God still stands, and man will be judged according to their works here on earth. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.